This morning, I am excited to introduce our featured commencement speaker, Lindsay Spindle. Lindsay is the president of the Samueli Family Philanthropies and a senior strategy advisor for H&S Ventures. She directs the Samueli family charitable giving with the goal of helping Henry and Susan Samueli achieve the greatest societal impact in their lifetime and on the issues that matter most to them. Working in philanthropy over the last decade, Lindsay has partnered with two of the most heralded technology entrepreneurs and engineers of our time, Henry Samueli and Jeff Skoll, the founding president of eBay. Lindsay remains a board director for the Skoll Foundation the largest foundation dedicated to social entrepreneurship and innovation. Her background includes pioneering work in communications, public affairs, and domestic policy. And under her direction, the No Kid Hungry campaign connected millions of low-income children to healthy meals, shifted state and national policies, and elevated national awareness of childhood hunger. Earlier in her career, she helped shape the anti-tobacco truth campaign, which was named one of the top 10 ad campaigns of the 21st century. Please welcome Lindsay Spindle. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Chancellor Gilman, Provost Stern, Dean Eggerstedt, esteemed faculty, staff, family, alumni, and of course, the Samueli School of Engineering graduates. I am delighted to be with you today, but feel a bit funny here on stage because, well, I am not an engineer. I am, however, married to a software engineer, and I have the absolute honor of working for one of the most legendary engineering entrepreneurs of our time, Dr. Henry Samueli. So let's just say that I'm engineering adjacent. I'd like for you to close your eyes and hearken back to four years ago. Where were you? How did you feel? How did you celebrate one of the biggest milestones of your lifetime? I suspect most of you would answer, I was at home. I felt isolated, sad, frustrated, or resigned. And my high school graduation was some mix of an awkward on-screen Zoom ceremony, a backyard gathering with a few family members, or maybe, maybe, for the lucky few of you, a drive through graduation on your high school campus. I remember where I was four years ago. I too was homebound. I felt concern for my parents, sadness for my kids who were confined to home, learning Arabic and pre-algebra from screens in their bedrooms, responsible for my employees who needed help. And if I'm being completely honest, I was deeply afraid of catching COVID and dying a too early death. That fear of dying led me to one of the most expensive impulse purchases of my life, a Peloton bike. As context, I'll add that quite embarrassingly, I can manage a $100 million budget at work, no problem, but I can barely ride a bicycle. So as this shiny black technological marvel arrived and landed squarely in our living room, I had immediate disdain for it. The first few rides were utterly demoralizing as I tried desperately to keep up with the enthusiastic instructor yelling at me through the screen. But with nothing but time, I stuck with the bike that goes nowhere and soon started to discover instructors who motivated me to keep pedaling. The lessons I learned from these three instructors are ones that you too may benefit from. My first Peloton instructor crush was on Christine. Christine is my age and is a highly acclaimed professional velodrome racer. She is crazy strong and a master storyteller to boot. Christine starts every warm up with a simple phrase drop your shoulders, drop your baggage. Drop your shoulders, drop your baggage. What baggage are you carrying? The baggage of imposter syndrome? The baggage of jealousy? The baggage of grievance? The baggage of external pressure? The baggage of fear? The baggage of ego? Whatever baggage you are carrying, I am here to suggest that you are making every step of life harder. When I reflect on the moments in my career, and life when I was at my lowest, 
it is when I made the choice to carry unnecessary baggage. I envied people getting promotions that I deemed unworthy. I let simple misunderstandings stew, eventually boiling over into full-fledged resentments. I permitted others' unrealistic expectations to be a proxy for my own gauge of success. I allowed mansplainers and harassers to ignite dormant feelings of doubt. At age 51, I am no engineer, but I can tell you that the principle of traveling lightly in the world, free from grudges and Instagram-induced envy, will help you pedal harder and get up your hill faster. In aviation, the weight of cargo can be the difference between a fast flight and a crash. In driving, wherever you let your eyes wander is where you will inadvertently turn the wheel. Where you choose to point your energy is where you will end up, and what you choose to carry can either be accelerant or dead weight. Drop your shoulders, drop your baggage. My next Peloton instructor crush was on Dennis. Back in 2020, he had a man bun. His music playlists are infectious. Dennis's coaching is precise, but delivered with irreverence. He manages to always ride to the beat and be offbeat all at once. Dennis is a joy to ride with. Dennis frequently says, I make suggestions, you make decisions. For example, he may tell you to turn your bike to a 50 resistance and push your pace to an 85 cadence. This is his expert suggestion. It is also a recipe for pure physical torture. In the privacy of my living room, when I cursed Dennis for inducing this misery, ultimately, it was up to me to make the decision to follow along or hold myself back. His suggestion, my decision. As you stand here today, Captain Gound, you are on the cusp of making more and more decisions in your lives. You've been working toward this milestone the last several years, taking directions and suggestions from professors, mentors, friends, and parents. But from here on out, as professionals in complex, dynamic engineering fields, you will be required to decide more on your own. As UCI graduates, you are now imbued with knowledge that will undoubtedly carry you far in your careers. But the best decisions, the ones that you will look back on with a sense of pride, will be made from a place of knowing and honoring your values. This year, the Samueli Foundation faced an unprecedented situation that would test our decision making we discovered that several of our valued partners were posting and promoting anti-Semitic content online. As an organization founded by the son of two Holocaust survivors, you can imagine the betrayal we felt in that moment. With no playbook for how to handle this situation, I went seeking advice from other foundation CEOs. Many of them suggested that I not rock the boat and that if I waited long enough that this would pass we decided to take a different path, to go with our values. We honored any outstanding financial commitments we owed to these organizations and then severed ties as their values proved irreconcilable with ours. People will make suggestions. You will need to make decisions. Err on the side of your values. The biggest surprise in analyzing my Peloton data over the last four years is that I rode with an instructor named Matt Wilpers more than any other instructor on the Peloton platform. I've spent 6,700 minutes pedaling over 1,742 miles with Matt. Mileage-wise, that's the equivalent of riding from here in Irvine to Nashville, Tennessee. Why is this a surprise? Well, Matt and I seemingly have nothing in common. Matt is a baby-faced, aw shucks, never swears, eats healthy and goes to bed on time kind of guy. I am not. <laughs> Matt studied accounting. I was a history major. Matt teaches mostly power zone training rides with metrics benchmarked to your own fitness. On these rides, the only person that you are competing against is yourself. I lean toward climbs and sprints 
competing against a live leaderboard of strangers. But Matt Wilpers is the one who got me to ride 45, then 60, then 75, then eventually 90 and 120 minute endurance rides. What I learned from Matt is this, the person that will help motivate you to new heights professional, professionally or personally won't always be the person you like the most or is most like you. Matt talks a lot about being comfortably uncomfortable and that is what I wish to share with you. You will find comfort in bubbles, but I assure you, you will find the most progress by being curious about difference. As you step out of UCI today and on to your next life adventure, please don't shy away from discomfort, for the biggest leaps you will make will be the moments you ran toward, not away from 90-minute rides or entrepreneurial startups or people with similar values but different approaches. Find your Matt Wilpers. Embrace being comfortably uncomfortable. Four years ago, you were isolated, graduating from high school on Zoom. Today, you stand here as deeply accomplished UCI graduates prepared to help solve our world's biggest challenges, like decarbonizing our economy, preventing another global pandemic, or maybe even designing the next Peloton to start a new fitness movement to improve people's health. You are clipped in and ready to ride away from this extraordinary school of engineering. You may have long, flat rides in life that require very little effort, and you may face steep climbs full of switchbacks that feel like they will never end. Christine always talks about the feeling of having someone's hand on your back, gently guiding you and encouraging you forward. Please take a minute to look around this room. These are the people of UCI that will always have their hands on your back. You are leaving them today, but they are not leaving you. For you see, graduating college is a bit like the principles of quantum entanglement. Your particles are forever linked to UCI, and UCI is forever linked to you. No matter how far you go from the University of California, Irvine, you will remain forever interconnected. So, UCI Samueli School of Engineering, class of 2024 graduates, drop your baggage. Listen to others' suggestions, but own your decisions. Get comfortable being uncomfortable, and know that we forever have our hands on your backs as you take to the road, ready to shine, ready to lead the pack, ready to soar. Congratulations.